Hello, I'm Meera Shankar, India's former ambassador to the United States and Germany. I've also worked for many years in the Ministry of External Affairs. Um, we're looking at uh, India's foreign policy priorities going forward. Well, if we look at the world today, it's much more uncertain than the world of yesterday. We are seeing huge fundamental shifts which are taking place and we don't know what the shape of the future world is going to be. So for India, I think our foreign policy must safeguard our safety and security, our borders. I think that would be the first task that we have to set ourselves. We are a developing country which is giving priority to economic development and employment within India. So our foreign policy must enhance the space for India to meet its developmental goals. Now, if I look at it in specific terms, then shaping relations with the great powers, particularly the United States and Europe, in a way, and Russia, in a way which is uh, beneficial to India's economic aspirations and to the fulfillment of its strategic objectives as well, I think would be very important. Um, the US is our major trading partner, major economic partner. We have shared interests in terms of peace and stability in Asia. Uh, Russia is a major strategic partner, not so much an economic partner, but in the field of defense, in the field of space and so on, Russia is still active. With Europe, we have a very active trade. In fact, taken together, Europe is our largest trading partner. Uh, and with China, I think we would like to build a relationship where we can manage our competition in a way which is to the benefit of both countries. Um, we have uh, a lot of trade with China, uh, but there are also questions about China's approach to India as we see in the National Suppliers Group and elsewhere on the border question. Uh, so uh, uh, having a relationship of both engagement and hedging against China, I think is something which we will have to fashion. How we do it is going to be a challenge for our diplomacy. Within the neighborhood itself, I think we would like to strengthen economic uh, connectivity and physical connectivity because the infrastructure which connected India to the rest of Asia, both in the East and West, was disrupted at partition. It was physically broken. The for political reasons. Now to re-establish those connections, I think would be very important for India to realize its potential. We are now making progress in the East uh, with Bangladesh, with Myanmar. We have major infrastructure projects, the Asian uh, highway network, the Asian railway network, uh, and so on. Uh, and I think that's an area where we will make progress. Towards the West, I think geographical connectivity is in a sense blocked because Pakistan, um, you know, does not give us transit through Pakistan. So we will look at alternative ways of seeing how we could access Central Asia or Afghanistan or other countries. Um, we have an active uh, policy towards East Asia, strengthening our political, diplomatic, economic, and military engagement with East Asia. Um, and now we have also begun to strengthen our links with countries in the Gulf and West Asia. And I think that's very important because India is a country which is Janus-faced. We look to the West, to the Gulf, and we've had ancient and traditional links with those countries. And we look to the East, to the dynamic Asia Pacific region. And we've had very intimate connections historically with these countries. So I think in a sense for India, it is a question of recapturing the, uh, the diplomatic and cultural sphere or space which uh, connected them to the rest of Asia and fashion.
focusing also on the immediate region and uh, fashioning relationships with the great powers which enable us to meet both our security and developmental objectives.